All right. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Good afternoon. All right. Yesterday, we started doing something in math. Can anyone tell me what we talked about in math yesterday? What did we talk about doing with numbers? What did we talk about? Micah? Hands Making down. All eyes are on Micah. Making a hole. Making a hole. How do we make a hole, Micah? What do we do to make a hole? Get two parts of a number and then put it together and you make a hole. Okay, so let's practice, all right? Let's take our part. Let's take our peanut butter part. All right, let's take our jelly part. Now, how are we going to make it a whole sandwich, everyone? What are we going to do? We're going to smush it together. When we smush it together, we get our hole. So we had our part. We had our part. Now we have our hole. Now, we're going to take those parts, parts, and holes, and we're going to learn how to write something with it today. But before we learn how to write something with it, I have a little chant for us to learn today. And my chant title is called Addition Sentences. Everyone say that with me. Addition Sentences. Am I ready to learn my chant? Yes. yes. All right. It goes, adding, adding is so fun. You take two numbers and find the sum. Let's read it together, okay? First line. Adding, adding is so fun. You take two numbers and find What do you see at the end of that? Natalie? Exclamation. Exclamation mark. What do we do whenever we see an exclamation mark? Everyone show me reread words. Strong feeling. Show me those muscles. All right, let's reread this and let's read it with our strong muscles. Okay, ready? Adding, adding is so fun. You take two numbers and find the sum. Oh, that was much better. You guys have your strong feeling on that. Okay. We are going to take our chance, and we are going to learn how to write an addition sentence. Because, Leland, that is the title of my chant, addition sentences. But before we do that, we need to learn about some words, okay? We're going to learn some words today. Can anyone raise their hand and tell me what my first word is? I don't think they know what your first word is. Set hands down, eyes on set. Plus. Plus. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You agree with them? It is. It's plus. Do you guys see this symbol here? What does it kind of make? What, what does a plus sign look like? Um, it has one line across and one line out. Let's make a cross with our fingers. Everyone make a plus sign. Everyone say the word plus. 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 Perfect. All right. I have another symbol that we're going to learn today. Ooh, can anyone tell me what this one says? Paul? Equals. Equals. Everyone say that word. Equals. Now we made a plus sign with our fingers. Let's make an equal sign with our fingers. What is an equal sign? It's two what? Two what? Oh, it's two lines. It's two lines. Kind of looks like our little dash in the short date, but there's two of them right above each other. You're absolutely right. I have one more word that we're going to look at right now. Anyone tell me what my last word is? Brianna? Ah. Ah. Everyone say that word. Ah. Okay. We're going to take these words, and we are going to learn how to write and Addition number sentence. Everyone say that with me. Addition number sentence. What do you notice in my addition number sentence up here? What do you notice? Turn and talk to your neighbor. What do you notice in my addition number sentence? Oh, it's different. Oh, go ahead. Stand up for me. All right, Leland, I want you to stand. 
going right here. Tyler, I want you right here. Okay, who can tell me right now how many boys I have? How many boys do I have? Brianna? Two. I have two boys. All right, Sadie, Addison, Natalie. I want Sadie right here, Addison right here, Natalie right here. Okay, so right now, I have how many boys? Two. I have two boys, right? Okay, so I'm going to write the number. Two. Well, we can't see that marker. Let's see the marker. All right, let's write our number two. How many girls do I have? Tristan? Three. Three. So I have the number two and I have the number three. I want to write an addition sentence though. Right now I just have numbers. What am I missing if I want to make an addition sentence? I'm going to put them together. How am I going to put them together, Micah? Um. We are going to put them together. What do we do when we put things together? We are adding. adding. So watch what Miss Weber does. Two, then my plus, three. Ooh, now what am I going to have to do? Is that great? Let's cross out the plus. Two plus three equals, let's put our two boys together. Let's put our girls together. All right, squish together. When they squish together, how many students do I have all together? Everyone? Five. So two plus three equals five. five. The five is called the sum. Everyone, what's the five called? The sum. sum. Before we go to the carpet, let's give our helpers up here a special cheer. Let's give them the roller coaster cheer. You guys ready? <laughs> Thank you, special helpers. Have a seat on your spot. Go ahead and get carpet ready. Crisscross applesauce, peanut butter, jelly, hands. When I read you my poem, my chant, it said adding, adding is so fun. <laughs> it can be a lot of fun. When we take two numbers, we took our boys, we took our girls, we put them together, and we find the sum. Do you guys see this word here? S-U-M. Sum. The answer to an addition problem is called the sum. What do we call it, everyone? The sum. sum. So what symbol do we have here in my addition problem? Who can tell me? Raise your hand. Everyone's hands should be in the air. What do we call that? Preston, the? M. So what do we call the symbol? plus sign and equal sign. Let's look at the picture. We see three kites plus two more kites. So we say three plus two equals five. Now we write three plus two equals five. Three plus two equals five is an addition sentence. Three plus two equals five. What would we call that everyone? An addition sentence. This is my plus symbol. Everyone show me a plus symbol with your fingers. This is my equal symbol. Everyone show me your equal symbol with your fingers. Excellent. Five is the sum of three plus two. What do we call the answer to an addition problem? The sum. The what, everyone? The sum. sum. Excellent. Let's try one more. How many balloons do you see in the first group? How many balloons are in the first group, everyone? Two. two. Good. That's right, two. How many balloons do you see in the second group? Two. Everyone, how many? Two. two. Good. 
Good. Write again. Two. So we say two plus two equals four. And we write. Now, if we say two plus two equals four, but do I write the word plus? No. Do I write the word equals? No. Yes. So let's write this as an addition number sentence. I have two. Who can come up here and tell me how to put the plus? Go ahead, Aiden. Perfect. Two plus, and what's going to come next, Sadie? Two. Two, come write it for me. Okay, what's going to come next in my addition number sentence? Andrew? Oh, before the four though, let's read it. We have two plus, plus two. What comes next, Andrew? Equals. Go ahead and put it up there for me. Make sure just the pen is touching. Perfect. Good. Okay. Now let's finish the addition number sentence. Two plus two equals. Addison is sitting very nicely on the carpet. Addison, what are we going to finish it off with? Good girl. What did you write? Four. Who can raise their hand and tell Miss Weber what we call this number at the end of an addition sentence, Tristan? The sum. The sum. The sum is the answer to an addition problem. Excellent. Let's erase our numbers up here. All right. Now let's practice. A little bit of our addition sentences. Oh, okay. Miss Weber has some animals up here. Can anyone tell me what animal I have up here? What do I have, everyone? A camel. But I have two different types of camels up here. What's different about my camels? What's different, Brianna? Um, the brown ones, they have two humps. Some of them have two humps, and some of them have one, one hump. We are going to write an addition sentence with our two hump and our one hump camel. Who can come up here and put all the two hump camels in a group for me? Prep, Leland, can you come put all of my two hump camels in a group for me? Oh, nope. You can drag them. Look. All right, put all the two humps together. At least I use using his knuckle, he knows that will help. Lots of two hump camels. Good. All right. Who can put all my one hump camels together? Go ahead, Addison. number sentence to help us figure out how many camels we have in all. We want to find the sum. What are we going to find? The sum. All right, so let's look up here in my one hump camel. Who can tell me how many one hump camels we have? See? Four. So what's the first thing you're going to write, see? Four. Come put it up here for me. All right, now in the addition number sentence, we have four. What comes next, everyone? I'm going to show you your plus sign. Perfect. All right, now what are we going to write next? What's going to come next up here, Seth? A five. Why five, Seth? Because there's five camels with the two pumps. You got it, dude. Go ahead and put up my five for me. Oh, loving the manners. Excellent. Go ahead and pick up any color you want. 
Well, you tell me. There you go, right after the plus sign. Perfect, that's good enough. Okay, so, so far let's read our number sentence, all right? Ready? Hold on, Twinkle Seth has a seat, go ahead. We can all see. All right, guys, let's read it together, ready? Four, Four. show me your symbol. Plus five equals. Show me your equals. Good. What's going to come at the end? What's going to come at the end? Aven? Nine. Why nine, Aven? Because there's nine camels There's nine camels all together. Go ahead, put that up there for me. Nine. Who can raise their hand and tell me what that nine is? What do we call that? Raise your hand. What do we call that? Call the? Sun. Everyone, what do we call it? The? Sun. sun. Because the answer to an addition problem is the sum. All right. We got to practice up here with our camels. We are going to practice a little bit at our seats, okay? So what I would like you to do is quietly tiptoe back to your seats and make sure your desks are clear. All right, guys. We are learning how to write a what? What are we learning how to write? What are we learning how to write? Alex? An addition sentence, okay? Now, in front of each one of you, you should all have a blue worksheet, okay? And on that sheet, we have some boxes. We are going to use these boxes to help us practice writing addition number sentences. We also see Leland some symbols on there, sitting up nice and tall for me. Leland, what symbols do you see on there? Um, I see a plus and a equals. He sees his plus sign and he sees his equal sign because we could not write an addition without those two signs. Now, this order passed out a little baggie to each one of you. And inside this baggie, we have a little bit of maybe a treat that are going to help us write addition number sentences. Have everyone pick up their baggie. Go ahead and open it up for me. And in the first box, under number one, I would like everyone to take out two of your teddy grams and put them in our first box. Excellent job. Excellent. We have great listeners in here. Everyone has two teddy bears in their first box. Now, I would like you to take three pretzels and put three pretzels in my second box. Excellent job following directions. All right. So, I have two teddy bears and I have three pretzels. How am I going to write this as an addition sentence? What am I going to do? The first thing we need to do is do what, Alice? Go ahead. We need to, we need to count what we have on our teddy bear and see how much we have. Exactly. All right. So, let's count up our teddy bears. What's the first number that we are going to write? What's our first number, Zachary, we're going to write? So under our teddy grams, under our first line, let's write two. That is my first number, the first part of the addition sentence. What comes after the two? What are we going to see there, Brianna? I want to show me your plus with your fingers. All right, perfect. Two plus. Now what's going to come on my next line? Lila, what's going to come on the next line? Why three, Lila? There's three pretzels. You got it, girly girl. Our addition sentence is almost done. Let's read what we have so far, everyone. Two plus three. All. Oh, what's going to come next, everyone? Equals. Everyone show me your equals with your finger. All right, let's take our pretzels. Let's move them over to our end square. Let's take our teddy bears. Let's move them over to the end square. If we put them all together, how much do we get? Tyler? Alyssa, the 
What do we call that, that number at the end of addition sentence? The, the what? It is a five. But what do we call the answer to an addition sentence? Adding, adding is so fun. You take two numbers and find the... What do we call it, Alyssa? The... The sum, right? The sum, absolutely. All right, excellent. Let's do another one, okay? Everyone take one of your teddy grams and put them in the first box. And now I want you to take two of your, excuse me, four of your pretzels.
Don't forget your plus and your equal sign. Go ahead and get to work. There's three problems we need to do on our own. Thank you. 
tall? Um, a two. What symbol do we see? A plus. Plus. Everyone show me your plus. What other symbol do we see? Dylan? Equals. Equals. Everyone show me your equals. Whenever we have our equals, we add our two numbers together. We get the... What do we get, everyone? The... Excellent job. You may go ahead and put your papers on the left-hand home side.